There's never been anything exactly like this. Reform Standards of Unity is a collection of the great creeds, catechisms, and confessions of our Reformed tradition. It brings together the classic standards of faith of Presbyterianism and also the Reformed Continental Churches. When we read the Bible, we actually find examples of simple creeds that were used in the Old Testament and the New. Perhaps we remember, Hero Israel, the Lord our God is one. That's an ancient creed of monotheism. Uh, when we come to uh, different sections in the New Testament, we can hear creedal statements and hymns, such as Jesus Christ is Lord. That simple statement is a belief that Jesus is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Well, of course, as the church began to go forth, controversy was inevitable because we're in a fallen world and people began, like Jesus taught us, there will be wolves in sheep clothing that will seek to devour the flock. There will be false teachers that will rise, just as there are false prophets in Israel. And so sooner or later, the church always is going to have to address error and heresy and sometimes overt rejection of biblical truth. And how do you lead people together to address that? Well, it's through a common statement of faith. And so as we look at the, what are the great statements of faith in Reformed Standards of Unity, we're actually looking at occasions where controversy was arising in the church and how the leaders of the church sought to give biblical answers in a simple way to guide the church in controversy. One of the things that really is a great gift for us in the Reformed tradition is to have these classic debates of the past that were answered with clear biblical truth and then summarized, passed on from generation to generation. And so now in this wonderful work, Reformed Standards of Unity, we have creeds, catechisms, and confessions so that we can go back and say, well, what really is justification? Who is God? How do I express the Trinity biblically? It's all there. And we believe that even though this generation has turned its back on the Bible and on Christianity, the questions that they're raising are all answered in the scripture, whether it's gender, race relationship, issues of the rich and the poor, how should the church and the state conduct itself? Those treasures are all in the Bible and they're wonderfully summarized in these creeds, catechisms, and confessions of our faith.